So Army Navy was Saturday, and I wanted to just frame Army Navy for you in this respect. Army Navy is one of the last bucket list games that I have in my life. I would love to cover that game. Now, I know I don't think the contract is up until like 2028, and I don't even know if it would move. But that's one of those games like in my career, if you were to ask me, Joel, like create three things that you would love to do in your career. I've said two of them publicly, so I'll say it again. I would love to call a national championship game. I would do I would love to call a Rose Bowl. And then the other one would be like calling Army Navy. (laughs) That would be That would be incredible. Now, whether those things happen or not, I'm not sure. You know, as of it, as of right now, we don't have those contracts. So we'll see what happens. But that game in so many ways is is one of my favorites. As you know, my dad is former military. My dad was a Marine. He used to take me and my brother down to the Air Force Academy. We grew up in the in the Colorado area, right right outside of Denver. And he would take us down to Colorado Springs because he got free tickets because he was a high school football coach after his military days. So he was a, a, a veteran of, of Vietnam, began to coach high school football, would take us down because he loved to watch the cadets march in, reminded him of his past and being in the military, and he would take us down there. So I fell in love with the service academies, all of them, you know, kind of obviously. And by the way, all of us Americans should should be in love with that. When you watch that game and and you, you see the pageantry of – of the service academies, and then you realize the selfless athletes that are on that field and where they're headed in the coming years, man, like, in a lot of ways, it kind of takes my breath away. And then when you couple that with the game we got in the Army-Navy game, that was sensational. For it to come down to basically a scrum at the end, was, I mean, I don't know how it gets any better. I don't know how it gets any better. That was an incredible game. I love that it has its own weekend. I think it actually sets up perfect for what the college football schedule could or should be in the future. And we'll do more on that in subsequent episodes. But that's a bucket list game. That was an incredible ending. And to every one of those players, every one of those players, to every one of those service members in the in the stands, thank you from the bottom of my heart and everybody associated with this show. Thank you for what you do now and what you will do in the future. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.